Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition for Thursday, the 20th of December. Things have calmed down here in the weather office after a a uh, very active morning, and now it's just going to turn cold. And next week, more forecast challenges right around Christmas. Let's get in there and take a look. We'll start with some of the Skycam shots this afternoon. Hey, look at the blue sky after the cloudy, wet morning. That's coming from Tuscaloosa, but it's windy and it's colder. There's the uh, Guin Skycam up in Marion County and way down south. A look at downtown Mobile, where, of course, they had an EF1 tornado shortly before 5 o'clock this morning in the western side of downtown Mobile, producing a lot of structural damage. I think there were two minor injuries in that, but obviously the uh, cool, stable air is taking over. And what a system. You talk about dynamic. Blizzard conditions up north, severe weather here in the deep south, strong winds uh, everywhere. And uh, you can see how the numbers are starting to come down. Uh, these are colder than the values we had this morning. It's uh, down to 47 in Haleyville. And we think we'll be in the middle 20s tomorrow morning as that cold air comes in over the snowpack up north. And speaking of that, over the snowpack, yeah, man, it's cold. Uh, they are not over the freezing mark. And uh, that snow is going to stick around for a while. Up in the watch warning map, we still have blizzard warnings for uh, parts of Iowa, Illinois, Wisconsin, Minnesota. It's slowly winding down. Uh, snow issues now to the east over parts of Ohio, Pennsylvania, and western New York. And uh, down this way, uh, we got a tornado watch until 6 o'clock Central Time for parts of southwest Georgia and the Florida Panhandle. But uh, chance by the time you watch this, that might be uh, taken out as the storms are slowly weakening now. And that's the convective outlook for the uh, rest of today and tonight. We've got the uh, standard slight risk uh, over North Florida and up the Atlantic coast, almost to Virginia Beach. This is the rain for the next seven days, and again, this is a, a new product. This carries us all the way through Thursday morning of next week. Now, this counts the rain we had this morning, and it counts the rain we'll have next week, and this is showing a bullseye of about three and a half inches here. And obviously, we've got more active weather coming up as we approach Christmas, so a lot to talk about. Let's get in there and take a look. I think something's in here for just about everybody. Uh, this is tomorrow at 12 noon at 500 millibars off the 12Z run of the GFS, the Global Forecast System. Big trough over the east down below that. Look at the pressure gradient. Still windy, cold, and the winds are really going to be howling over Michigan and Ohio. They might have some high wind uh, warning issues up there. But around here, the wind's probably 12 to 25, maybe gusting to 35 tomorrow. But the sky will be sunny, but it will be cold. The high only in the upper 40s. And we'll start the day in the 20s. Uh, pretty much the same thing on Saturday. We'll start the day in the 20s, but not as windy. In fact, the winds go light as the surface high is near Mobile Bay. Uh, we should rise up into the low 50s Saturday afternoon. And Sunday should be a pretty decent day, partly sunny with uh, highs in the upper 50s. All right, next week, everybody wants to know. So let's take a look. This is Christmas Eve, Monday, December 24th. Showers begin to break out. And the warm air advection pattern, the uh, temperature should reach the low to mid-60s. If you're traveling, you can kind of take a peek at weather around the nation. It's just kind of cold up north. Uh, the bigger snow issues on uh, Monday would be over the mountains of Utah and Idaho, perhaps Wyoming. Christmas Day, surface low begins to form on the Louisiana coast. And the position of that low will determine if we just get a cold rain here or have severe weather. And let's see what this run does with it. It's on the Louisiana coast. We have rain, a wet Christmas day. Uh, this would suggest a high near or maybe just over 60 and no severe weather. Now, this is noon on Christmas Day. Uh, let's move it up to midnight Christmas night. The surface low is near Meridian. We really never get in the warm sector if this is right. This is just a, a kind of a cool rain. And, oh, boy, look at Arkansas. This would suggest a very significant snowstorm for places like Little Rock, Arkansas, Christmas night, if this is right. And, uh, again, we'll feel a little better about this forecast tomorrow, but uh, there's been better consistency in this southern track now. And then we'll go to Wednesday, a very deep trough rotating through here. The uh, surface low is located around Knoxville, Tennessee. And look at the cold air flowing in here. And this is suggesting the rain might 
changed to snow on Wednesday before ending. Hey, goodness. And uh, again, uh, no, no accumulation, you know, if that's the case. And then Thursday, it's not excessively cold, but it's windy and pretty chilly. That's Thursday, December the 27th. And I, just for the fun of it, thought I'd show you the uh, projected snow from this thing next week. All right, this is the snow cover, valid uh, late Wednesday night. And the GFS puts down a pretty decent little swath of of snow through Arkansas and Tennessee with this feature. And, you know, if we had anything here, just be light snow or snow flurries based on that look. But how about them apples? A little Interstate 40 snowstorm maybe uh, right after Christmas next week. All right, let's look at the European depiction of this. This is a valid Christmas afternoon, Tuesday at noon. Uh, <coughs> much like the GFS, the consistency is getting better. That's showing rain. We'll go to Wednesday morning. This is 6 o'clock local time Wednesday morning, the day after Christmas. Very deep surface low that's uh, uh, kind of between Birmingham and Atlanta. And look at the changeover to snow, if this is right, over north Mississippi and west Tennessee. And then Wednesday evening, uh, this is like at noon Wednesday, we've got snow over much of North Alabama the day after Christmas with a very deep surface low northeast of here. So now there's actually very decent agreement between the GFS and the European with the idea of, of snow for maybe Tennessee and Arkansas and just maybe, if the European's right, down into North Alabama, an idea we have to put on the table and then there's Thursday of next week, and uh, not as cold as other runs we've seen. The 540 line is a bit north of here. All right, let's go out there. For, now, for the snow lovers, i got something else for you. How about a look of New Year's Day, a New Year's Day snowstorm on the GFS. But this is all in the land of voodoo. This will be gone in the next run, but wouldn't that be something that that happens to verify? And the end of the forecast, another Gulf system on January 5th with cold air in place. So, Weather looking kind of cold and unsettled as we approach the uh, beginning of 2013. And one more chart. Uh, this is the GFS snow cover on Christmas Day at midday, just for the fun of it. If you're dreaming of a white Christmas morning or a Christmas day, that's your best bet. But who knows, just maybe, just maybe we'll have a risk at a few snowflakes around here the day after Christmas. That's the... Weather Extreme video this afternoon. Notes on the blog, alabamawx.com. Uh, the next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you can, watch us on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 on the live stream or the television side. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. Hey, this is Ross with my partner, Bob. We have a show called Worldview Matters. And Ross, as you know, we believe that everything in life is somehow related to how people view the world around them. Our show is available on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. Also available on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.